Hey, what's going on, guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm gonna be talking about my wish list for the next Call of Duty in 2015. And I really hope that a track developer is watching this because I think that some of the points in this video that I'm gonna bring up are really what can make a lot of fans that play Call of Duty happy. So, the first thing is I do not want a new movement mechanic system in the next Call of Duty. I don't want any type of wall running, exosuit, double jumping, uh, etc. Almost everyone in the Call of Duty community wants the next Call of Duty to go back to its simple and traditional movement system with boots on the ground and gun to gun combat. No double jumping or uh, axle abilities because they do take away from the Call of Duty feeling and I don't think the next Call of Duty needs a movement system although I do like what gaming companies are trying to do and that's keeping Call of Duty new and fresh because the main complaint for years is that Call of Duty is repetitive you do the same thing which is kind of true but a new movement system isn't necessarily the best thing to do to make the game not feel repetitive anymore and one thing that Sledgehammer did right in Advanced Warfare is add a loot system because now when you play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare you have something to work for other than reaching max prestige now you can work for unlocking the best weapons of the game or some really really cool gear for your soldier and every single day I always go for the daily supply drop challenges because every supply drop I get I'm hoping that I unlock an ASM1 speakeasy or a Battle of City instead and the feel feeling of getting a good weapon in the supply drop is so satisfying so supply drops were a great idea and that right there is how you can keep a Call of Duty fresh and I do hope that supply drops will turn into the next Call of Duty now for the second thing I want in the next Call of Duty uh, to have is a setting that's based in the past or in modern times because so far the past three Call of Duties Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghosts and Advanced Warfare have all been based in the future and I think after three years there should they should be able to switch to a older setting I mean it has been for a while that we've been into the future and I think after three years now they should be able to switch to a setting that's based in the in the past or in modern times and if the next Call of Duty were to have a setting that's based in modern times it would make so many people happy because I honestly don't see why developers don't make the Call of Duty that's based in modern times or in the past it's I mean it's what buyers want and for the past three years futuristic games is it's really what's hot in the market right now but if you take a look at those games all those games like Titanfall, uh, Destiny, they're starting to fall now. They're starting to die off. And I think if Advanced Warfare didn't have Call of Duty under its name, then it probably would have died off with all those other futuristic games. And Call of Duty players want a game that's in modern times or in the past because we can actually relate to the setting. I remember that uh, my dad was showing off some of his guns uh, to me and my brother. And one of the guns that he had was the 44 Magnum. And we like freaked out because that gun was in our game. It was in Modern Warfare 2. And in Black Ops 1, I thought it was really cool to see how the soldiers used to fight back then in the war with uh, those old school radio cell phone things to call them the kill streaks. I was really intrigued that the gear those players that the soldiers wore, and that's why I think the next Call of Duty should have a setting that's based in the past or in modern times. Now, for the next thing on my list, I want a lot more guns because adding a lot more guns can add some gun diversity to multiplayer matches. And if you take a look at a uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, all everyone uses is a Battle Inferno or an ASM1, and hardly any gun can compete with those two so I don't really blame anyone for not using uh, a different gun other than those two but uh, one thing that Treg has done right is that gun diversity and weapon balancing and in Black Ops 1 there wasn't really uh, one or two guns that everyone would use all the time people would use the AK-47 the Galil the G-11 the Commando the MP5K and even the M60 LMG and all those weapons were balanced and can't compete with one another uh, I'd also like to see a multiplayer map have the same layout as Black Ops 1 or as Modern Warfare 2 with three lanes people can rush from from the left the right and the middle and then between that add some lines of sight and some cover areas I would also like to see the pick 10 system come back um, modules added to kill streaks I think that's a really cool idea um, I like to see a lot more DLC also and some free stuff because uh, every year I think game developers should try to top the last year's COD DLC releases because if you add or give us some free stuff uh, that will make a lot of fans happy with your game so that's about it on my way I feel that if the next Call of Duty plays like that, it will be a very good game. But obviously, there still are a lot of other little things to add to the game that will make it better. But this is what I see as the main solutions to make the next Call of Duty amazing. Tell me y'all's wish list in the comment section down below. What would you guys like to see in the next Call of Duty? Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And please subscribe to update the latest Call of Duty 2015 and Advanced Warfare news, rumors, information. Thank you for watching. This has been Revert. So next time, I'll catch y'all later.